Oh boy, thank y'all, man. Let me tell you something, man. Thank y'all for tuning in with Andrew Love. And you know what I'm saying? And this is, you know, this is my YouTube channel. I ain't made a view in a while, but as y'all can see, there's a lot going on in YouTube world. A lot going on in YouTube world. So it's going to be very, 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 very interesting. Um, as you know, <laughs> I want to first, I want to give a salute to Mr. Skinny TV, as you see on the side, and no chill, give, give it a rinse. Salute to both of y'all because y'all have made YouTube very interesting. And I, as y'all know, I'm going to go over y'all, give you some background details, what's really going on, some inside scoop. And, you know, I can't tell too much, but I will tell you just a little bit. Um, you know, it's a lot going on in the YouTube sector. As you know, that we all seen, there is a purge coming on. Um, we know with Kwame Brown. Um, Kwame Brown started out good on YouTube. You know, he was starting out pretty good. He was he was doing good. He was, everybody was rooting for him, cheering for him as underdog, enough exposing, you know, supposed to be exposing, you know, the uh you know like he started out with beef and then he started out exposing people who was in the uh you know in the media how they do nba players and such and such such uh, like that he was claiming he was you know for those you no know, athletes and speaking on how the contract was being diminished and all this stuff then that's the you know he claimed he was for helping small business trading codes and as you know People's room for him, trading code, people's room for him, small business. And then it got to the point where, um, you know, people figure out who he really was. He was just an opportunist. And so, you know, it got to the point where he just started beefing with all the YouTubers and so much, so much. His subscribers went down, his views went down. Uh, a lot of people was rocking with him on YouTube, was making videos and support. Then after a while, they realized he wasn't who he thought he was or who they thought he, he portrayed to be. And found out that you know he was, you know, telling a bunch of lies, scamming people, mis misinformation with people, and uh, you know, there's so much thing going on. So it got to the point that you no know, people's rooting for him now. You know, he start corrupting the YouTube sets. You know, people cheering for him, and he started beefing with all those YouTubers, made all the small YouTubers that nobody ever, never heard of, and so and they start beefing. Later on, he started beefing with. Uh, give her give her the readings for no reason uh, off of Vlad video, uh, the Vlad interview basically. So he started beefing with Gibbert for no reason. Gibbert was then saying nothing bad about him to support him. But it got to the point they kept beefing with Gibbert. So no, Gibbert wasn't from the YouTube world. So no, now Gibbert is now here on YouTube. And as you know, Gibbert has plans to succeed on YouTube platform as well. But, you know, but he sees some problems going on. And that's with Kwame, Kwame Brown. Kwame Brown has made a lot of black YouTube set to look bad and all these things. And so he started keep beefing with uh, you no know, Gilbert Arenas. So Gilbert Arenas was trying to make peace with him and everything. Uh, but apparently there could not have been a truce between them. So Gilbert Arenas now is in YouTube. And, you know, the Mr. Skinny beef with Corey Brown going on for a while. So, uh, ever since that, uh, Gilbert Arenas that, um, you know, now team up with kind of with Miss Skinny, you know, Miss Skinny and, uh, was with Kwame Brown fighting against all his battles and fighting against Gilbert Arenas. Now him and Guinness Rims are in each other's corner and, and Corey Brown had turned against a lot of his supporters, uh, mainly because two women. So, you know, it's getting interesting. So, you know, there's some plays going on now. Uh, Corey Brown is not good for YouTube at this point. He's entertaining. So there's a purge going on. Give it Arenas is running plays. He's running good plays. Uh, DMD running plays. And, you know, and so, you know, that give it Arenas and Sister T, even though uh, she's a uh, Corey Brown Cormite and her and Queen Virginia Cormites, and they've been in Cormite battles, fighting his battles for him and so forth. And so, you know, since Gibbard Arenas came in the picture, um, he don't have no beef against nobody, <laughs> really, but no Kwame. Uh, his focus has been on Kwame since Kwame started a lot of beef and drama. So, as you know, as you can see some plays going on, you know, um, you know, Kwame Brown is losing, don't know who to trust anymore. He shouldn't. Now that Gilbert Arenas came in the picture, there's no one he could trust. 
Um, a lot of people want to know who the snake is. Is Sister T or is it Damn Deep? A Damn Deep must be not Quan Mike, but quite some Quan Brown supporter. But you know, Damn Deep running plays as well. Um, so you know, um, a lot of people want to know who the snake is. Sister T is Damn Deep, but I can't tell you. Um, it's too much information. But I will see you continue to watch the program, continue to watch all the people that Carmen's getting into, all the people making YouTube. Um, you know, give it a ring is coming to YouTube and help uh, promote so many YouTubers who have low platforms, such as Mr. Tenny, Mr. Skinny, sorry. Salute to Mr. Skinny. He teamed up Mr. Skinny, and there's some other people who will, will uh, also be succeeding. That's Mr. C, Mr. Skinny TV. Uh, it was already growing, but now that he's with uh, Chilla Chilla, uh, his content has gotten better and better uh, because uh, unlike Corey Brown, Mr. Skinny started having real content. And so, yeah, as you know, since the purge of Corey Brown is coming on, as you know, uh, the purge of Corey Brown will happen. Where the Corey Brown go leave on his own, where he gonna get his YouTube channel taken? Uh, he had to make a decision. Sister T had the decision to make too as well. Is she gonna continue to rock with Corey Brown and sink in the ship, or is she gonna come to her senses and stop turning down ten, stop turning down the offers of? Give her the bring to offer ten thousand dollars. She turned down because of Kwame Brown, and was just holding her back from success. Or is she going to leave Kwame Brown and let her YouTube channel grow organically? You know, Gary Arenas is trying to help the lady. You know, he's trying to help her, and and um, you know, but she's she's stuck thinking Kwame Brown's a good dude. That he's not. Kwame Brown threw him, her, Kwame Brown through her, and Queen Regina, basically under the bus. Kwame Brown don't want nobody critiquing him. But she must leave, though. She must leave. But the decision's up to her now. Now, she can either stay on YouTube and when Kwame grown, she, which she will eventually leave because the purge has already started, um, you know. And so, you know, is she going to join the team, you know, take, you know, join the team and come to our senses and, you know, come at peace with Gilbert Arenas, which Gilbert Arenas had no beef with her at all. And it grow her channel like she's supposed to because you know your arena is on YouTube and some people will come along. A lot of YouTube will not YouTubers will not come along. A lot of YouTubers just watch the content, figure out what's going on. But there are some snakes, Dem D and Sister T is the people you need to watch that Dem D running all kind of plays. Now is Dem D uh, working with Gilbert or is he just running his own plays? Because we all know Dem D's opportunities. And Damn is all about money and content. So Damn G had no real loyalty. He just using Kwame Brown, as we all know, for content. And so he gonna rock with uh Kwame Brown as long as he continue to make money off of him. But right now, Damn D had no real loyalty. Damn D has um put a wedge between uh, as you can see, Sister T and Queen Regina, and which also helped further helps give the arenas what he's doing. Now that was the interview going on between Sister T and Gilbert Arenas. There was a plan going on. So T had a plan, get a readiness, had a plan. Both of them had a plan. Well, unfortunately, as y'all seen, Corn Brown had intervened in the plan. Now, Sister T had to let Corn Brown up because Sister T, you know, she's on his team, but Sister T is also for herself. I think we kind of know that, though. But the question is, why she let Corn Brown up knowing that he and Gilbert don't have had serious beef where well, she had to let him up because you know in order to stay in good graces of Kwame uh uh and not to seem suspicious she had to let him up on the platform to show no favoritism but the question is is sister t really rocking with Kwame or is she rocking with Gilbert you know she says she don't rock again she make all these videos about Gilbert but anytime Gilbert pull up she bring him on but there's a question that a lot of people want to know is Sister T don't like Gilbert. Why she let him on? She Sister T don't hate, don't like, she don't really don't like Gilbert. That's, that's a game. She's doing it on the behalf of Kwame. She really like Gilbert. She really does. But she got to appease Kwame. You know, as I was saying, you got to keep your friends close, the enemy close. But you know, Kwame Brown's so confused. He don't really know Sister T on her side. But um, she do have some tough decisions made, though. She was either completely pulled away from Kwame 
and come on the right side and on the light side and leave Kwame alone. Kwame don't really care for her. She do have a soft spot for Kwame, but at the end of the day, it's just too about her money. And uh, Corin Brown already missed $10,000 up for her for that money. Uh, and because of Corin Brown's jealousy and hatred of Gilbert and jealousy, you know, he was attacking everybody. He don't know who to trust. He think damn dear on his team, but um, is he on his team? I can't say I will see, but is damn D on Kwame Brown's team? You know, you got to keep your friends close, but Emmy a lot closer. You know, it's really hard to tell who's team side damn D on. Y'all will figure out later on who's side damn D on. I can't tell you who's side damn D on. I'm not, I don't really know yet, but he is on the side though. But we do know, we don't know if he's really with Kwame or is he just, or is he with Gilbert? Is Gilbert paying him behind the scenes and keep the distraction going on? So, you know, uh, you got to have somebody close to Kwame, you know, to distract him. So, you know, uh, Kwame Brown is over with. His his YouTube channel is going down the drain. It's, uh, it's over. Either he goes submit or they go get his YouTube channel taken away. Now, so T did have a strike against her channel. That was a warning. She needs to choose sides. And that strike was removed. But hey, man, you know, we got a million dollar man on YouTube. Um, he calling shots, man. Uh, so this team will continue to be successful. She might need to go ahead and leave Kwame. But that's up to her, though. She want to fully leave Kwame, quit playing the game, and make up her mind. Because give her the opportunity to come to the side, you know. But I also want to do a shout out to uh, also Uncle Shield as well on this channel. I've been on this platform. Uncle Shield doing a good job um, of this. But and not too many people really know what's going on on YouTube. A lot of people watching, a lot of people don't know who's on whose side, who's on what side. I also want to give a shout out to um, as well as Johnny Blaze. That is John Goodman. He's doing very good. He's doing his content. I want to shout him out on his channel. Um, a lot of people have, as a part of the play, don't know what they're part of the play. A lot of people are watching, tuning in. But Gary Arena says, brought this YouTube thing to a sitcom type of thing. He brought the drama to the role. He did it on purpose. He orchestrated it perfect. Um, that's YouTubers. We'll come along, man, and be successful. But Corey Brown YouTube channel is over with. Uh, Queen Regina, I have no idea. Not sure where she's going to fall at. I don't even know where, you know, because like like I said, give her in like Queen Regina and some other content creators. And she's very entertaining. She has potential. Um, I don't know if Queen Regina has potential. Corey Brown most definitely have potential. Uh, when Skinny have a lot of potential, you can see his channel growing a thousand plus views now. It's getting better. He gets his more subscribers every day, every week. He give away a lot of money and things like that. Thanks to Give It Arenas team up with Give It Arenas. Him and Give It Arenas both put money out there, out their pocket and give away to the, all the subscribers and really know the tubers you is doing this. So I want to give a salute to Miss Skinny. As I know I support Mr. Skinny. You know that. I'm um I'm I'm a supporter of Mr. Skinny most definitely and supporter of No Chill Gill. Um you know, Miss Skinny got some things coming on. Uh, he supported my comic book. Um, well, not my comic book. It's what my friend's comic book. I'll just help promote uh, my friend of mine. He has a comic book and somebody else. Got a comic as well. So Miss Skinny has been uh, helping um, black people out. So Miss Skinny will, uh, believe it or not, he, if you if you want to advertise Miss Skinny, he's, he's open, his doors are open to ever, uh, advertise uh, black people's stuff. He has addresses. In his description on his on his channel, on his um Mr. Skinny TV, go to Mr. Skinny TV and his address on us. If you want to donate or send products or anything, you have businesses, you know, you want to promote whatever, send him some stuff, send him some uh some of your things to his channel. I mean to his address he got on there. You can send he he review, but you know, Mr. Skinny do a lot of great things, and that's why give it a brand side to team up with him. You see, Skinny Mr. Skinny got the Skinny con, he had a skinny con and then said a beautiful lady on the side right here. See that right there? He got his own thing going on. Miss Skinny got a lot of projects coming up. Mr. Skinny is gonna be real big on YouTube, y'all. Real big on YouTube. He's gonna the way he's going is gonna be bigger than Thomas Sotomayor. But that's some games things playing on. That's you got Queen Regina, then you got Fats old feelings. He's trying to team up with Queen Regina, which he sh I think he should. Um both of them got about the same energy, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know how they think, but I think they're going to do well since Corn Brown's hating. But Corn Brown just, uh, you know, he, he he just lost control. People, He's a mockery. People make a mockery of him. 
his channel will be gone, y'all. Real soon, the purge has already started. Right now, uh, the worst the worst they could do is not just to leave a person channel, is but it's to humiliate humiliate him. You no, know, uh, put out his business out there, make him want to leave. Ain't no ain't no more enjoyment watching. More people there's more enjoyment than watching a person suffer before they leave or get their channel taken down. But you know, like I said, oh, Sister T, you know, I'm, I pretty much think she's going to eventually make the right decision. Come on to the good side. Come on, man, because it's coming though, man. There are always things going to plans now. You know, Sister T on uh, put us some information about maybe, you know, interviews with other people. And, you know, there's a reason for that, though. This is a play going on, y'all. And uh, uh, don't be surprised if uh, Mrs. Skinny and Sister T, uh, you know, have some mutual agreements on interviews. Don't be surprised, y'all. Uh, let me see if I can find some content see what i'm gonna show you what i'm talking about uh, some things coming up that y'all don't even know about let me see uh see if i can pull this up real quick uh yeah some things y'all don't know um yeah i'm gonna see if i can pull it up real quick uh let's see what i can do if it's still here. Okay. Uh, let me see what's going on here. Uh -oh. This is something that Corinne Brown posted up. <laughs> this is fair use content. This is for learning purpose. Uh, uh, Okay, let's see how we can do this. Uh, here we go. Here we go. It's old information. But, um, uh, Uh, well, let's see. Well, well, don't be surprised if some mutual happens between. I ain't said no time, so don't be surprised if some plays get ran. Um, don't be also don't be surprised. I'm not gonna show it right now. Also, don't be surprised if. Um, some donations be coming in to Sister C. Um, because there's some things gonna go on, y'all. Don't be surprised of anything you see. Uh, for us rating, don't be surprised, y'all. I'm serious. I'm not gonna show it. Um, that's exactly what I'm looking for. But uh, try to try to see something real quick. I don't think I'm gonna pull up right now. Uh, yeah. Trying to see some. Uh... Bottom line, don't be surprised if you see Sister T. And Mrs. Skinner making some collaborations real soon. Uh, I'm not going to show it, but don't be surprised if you see some collaborations coming on real soon. Y'all just stay tuned. I mean, this is getting very interesting. This drama and stuff like this. Like I said, Crime Brown really messed it up. Uh, uh, Sister T. Well, he ain't really messed it up. Uh, Sister T and uh, gave us plans. But as you know, when the Gamer left out, he regrouped and reorganized and came back because uh, you know, he didn't expect it to go the way it did. And, uh, you know, nobody knew Corman was coming. So he messed the plan that uh, Sister, you know, T. Gilbert. So he kind of went a little different direction. Carmen Brown is very jealous of Sister T, really. So still don't really need him. She thinks she does, but she don't. And uh, she got to make a tough decision. She go with 
Kwame Brown, get on the readings, or take the side of getting readings and lead Kwame and go ahead and do her, her YouTube thing. This was about, you know, there's a purge coming on. Kwame, I gotta go. Uh, some uh, you uh, Gilbert Arenas is coming on, he's gonna take YouTube by storm. People pull some, some uh, content creators on, so she could be one of them because he really thinks she's very entertaining. But Kwame Brown's in a way, so you know, we got to find ways to uh, the find ways to get her off that team, either through him or Damn D. And like I said, Dam D is playing a role, but I'm not gonna tell you what role Dam D is playing. That's 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 for y'all to watch and see who's coming on. And that's some other YouTubers. They they're also help uh help you know help promoting the drama going. This is like uh you know this is this is good entertainment. So um you know it's the question is Dam D is this to you, Snape is this to you, stay? And the question is Dam D on his on Kwame's side or is he on Gibber's side? Or is he damn D just for damn D? And that's the most interesting thing because damn D been running some plays too. No, damn D is a very smart person. He's know what he's doing. And everybody else who's, who's watching and gravitating to what's going on, uh, Regina's having a breakdown as we see, and she is having a breakdown. Um, I think she really do suffer some PTSD because she, her mind's like comes and goes. Poor Regina, she really needs to get off of YouTube. It's not for her. Um, um, I'm feel sorry for uh Queen uh Queen Regina. Uh I don't think her mind is really all there. I don't think she really fit for YouTube. But she, you know, Forrest is know what she's doing. She is very entertaining though, but it's getting sad for her, man. You can tell she has some mental breakdown, mental issues. She needs to stay out the way though, because with the thing with Gilbert Arena's place, the Gilbert Arena's running, damn D running, is is it and Mr. Skinny running is 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 hurting, man. And I'm uh, sure he's helping out too, but uh, I'm sure you know. I'm not saying I'm not gonna show where he stands, but I'm sure is, is I'm sure you know. what I'm saying uh, he's not gonna say if he's winning by he's not really winning by enough, but he just he just a good observer. See what's going on. But only a few people really know what's going on. For us, what's going on, you know. But all the other YouTubes making videos, they're just helping. They're just helping the show go on, man. Just like you watch the video other sitcom. But yeah, getting ready to know what he's doing. Um, there are some plays being ran, some plays right now being ran. Um, as you see, Miss Skinner got the series of the purge going on. That's that's this this is the play, y'all. It's, it's a play. Y'all, y'all, if y'all want to know what's going on, watch Mr. Skinny and tune in. Watch Mr. Skinny, watch Sister T, and watch the MD. Because as the play has been ran, you know, you know, you you think you you think you can fully trust Sister T, Sister T's no dummy. She's very smart. She crazy, but she ain't that crazy. But like I say, people don't just watch and observe what's gonna happen. Crown Brown YouTube channel with Crown Brown will each leave the easy way. Who's the channel get taken down the hard way? But uh, right now, um, uh, Brown probably lose more subscribers. But he's not. He's his channel is diminished. He's not good for YouTube. He's he's scamming people. He uh, he lying to people, scamming people, and. You know, Garrett Arenas don't like this, and a lot of you two don't like to see this. So, but no, Garrett Arenas is gonna help take care of him. Miss Skinny was definitely help take care of him. The purge started right now. Miss Skinny ran all kinds of play. He got all kinds of content. He got so many things coming on. I can't tell you what I was gonna be. Um, and so, hey man, y'all go, y'all got to tune in and watch. But man, hey, check Mr. Skinny channel. You see the Miss Skinny channel in the description box, man. And so as well, you see No Chill Gill uh, uh, channel as well. Uh, no, Chill Gill has got smart. He's he's very creative. The man already working on animations. He cannot get challenged straight doing animations. So he took the loophole. I mean, he took he took the smart attention way. He could talk about you through animations and that you can do about it. He's not stealing your content. It's content he creating. He can use your words like he wants to. So he's gotten very crafty. So you know he is. He wait to wait till you see Gilbert Rennes run his animation. It's really gonna. It's really really gonna hurt. And ain't nothing. The Quan Brown can do about it. Quan Brown don't have the technology. Quan Brown don't do his own research. Quan Brown don't have nobody. Everybody Quan Brown depend on who left them forsaken. He ran them off because his insecurity. And I don't feel sorry for him at all. Uh, you know, Quan Brown's condescending. He's stuck in his mind. He lie. He twist. And he got a lot of people following him who just don't get it. And they will follow him to the, the ship sink. They really are. Or either they just, I don't know, something wrong. They might be lonely and depressed like he is. But something going on, man. Um, but a lot of people is running plays now. Um, 
give it a win and winning some people over. Um, and like I said, man, it's, it's going to be interesting. I really can't say too much. But where Damn D stand, where Sister T stands, is too many focus. Damn D and Sister T is really is going to be the, the undoing of Cormac Brown. But who side they on? Uh, one of them going to be undo. Could be both. But see, that's what y'all got to figure out, though. This is it's interesting. Now, like I said, shout out to Miss Skinny T and shout out to Chill Gill. I'm just here dropping your cuts. I'm just here to think, you know, uh, on think on the play, who run and play, how the play's been ran. Uh, but it, it, right now, it's interesting. You know, Corn Brown out there calling out names of people who have nothing, have nothing to do with nothing. People he called names, calling even thinking about them. He went real hard on the women. He went, he, he didn't really say too much about the men, but leave me alone, basically. And the women's ain't even thinking about it. They ain't made no videos. Yeah, he can see the man. Something wrong with the man. So, yes, man. Yes, yes. I want to thank y'all all for this tuning in. Thank y'all for tuning in to Andrew Love. Shout out to Uncle Shook. Shout out to Mr. Skinny TV. Shout out to No Chill Gill. Shout out to uh, Jenny Blaze TV. Um, You know, your shout out to who else I'm going to shout out? Who else to? I'm going to shout out some more YouTubers. Hold on. Uh, I got some more YouTubers. So I need to shout out real quick. Um, where we go? Uh, who I need to shout out? Um, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna go and shout out Gravity Takeout. Gravity Takeout, you been doing good, man. Uh, you doing real good content. Ever since Gravity Takeout had left Kwame Brown, his content got a whole lot better. Gravity Takeout is very y'all need to watch Gravity Takeout. He he he's very fair about his YouTube channel. He ain't biased when he was with Kwame Brown. He's doing great things. And shout out to him. You know, watch his content. His content's good. And watch out, I said, watch out, Johnny Blaze. He's doing good content too. He, it, man, he speaks his truth. He don't care what you think about it. He's on a pilot. Well, he apologized, but I'm saying he had no fear of how he used his words. He, and man, just he ain't, he ain't sugarcoating nothing. He'll speak his mind. Also, shout out to Taz OTV. Taz OTV, shout out, man. Shout out to Taz OTV, man. Um, he made good content, uh, content create, creation. Also, um, you know, he's doing good. Even shout out to um Dr. Watts. Dr. Watts is good content, man. Dr. Watts just a, another YouTube a shout out. He is doing his own thing, man. He was in the beef with Cormac Brown. Well, Cormac Brown picking on him for a little bit, and Miss Skinny had kind of attacked him because he was with Cormac Brown's time. So a lot of people who who um were beefing with uh who was beefing with Cormac Brown, a uh, people a lot of people who have beef with Cormac Brown or don't like Cormac Brown. A lot of people on YouTube have gotten together and everybody shared your platforms. They are attacking Corn Brown. Uh Corn Brown right here no let stand on. All the person you go say real quick is uh Pixino. Pixino is a Pixino, man. Pixino is a joke. He lied about everything. Pixino pretend like him like Gilbert. But Pixino, you know, I forgot to mention him. He can't be trusted either. I know Corn Brown's trusting, but man, Gilbert Arenas already exposed him, but Corn Brown's too stupid to see it. Carcino don't really have no real beef with Carmen Brown. He's he don't have no no not real beef with Carmen. He had no real beef with Gilbert Arenas. Gilbert Arenas talked to uh Carcino behind the scene. Um Carcino just really just using Kwame Brown be honest about it. Carmen Brown don't know it. Uh um, you know, Carcino is this is the most action Carcino have. You know, he he's somebody kind of famous he talked to, but Pixino's out for him. Pixino just using Kwame. He don't really care about Kwame. And he don't have no beef with uh Gilbert Arena. So I'm gonna put that out there. He had no beef with G- Gilbert Arena. Gilbert Arena's talk to Carcino anytime he wants to see a DM and inbox talk about sports all the time. So a man he goes make videos about Car- uh Gilbert Arena to turn around, talk about boxing and basketball and inst- behind the scenes on Instagram is not. He just using Kwame. But Kwame won't believe it though, because that's plays being ran. I know Gilbert Arena's a very smart man. Gilbert Arena's on say. Pixino got nothing really against him. And he don't have nothing against Pixino. Pixino just making content. I mean, you know, the, the you know, Kwame is, is good, easy to make content, you know, but uh he just using Kwame. Um he don't hate, he don't got no real beef against Gilbert Arena. He just doing this for content and make money. Um, he's not even a real friend of, of Kwame Brown. Some Kwame Brown gone, he'll find so much to leech out for. Trust me. Uh, so uh Pixino just <laughs> You know, of course, Pixino just there, just a lie, man. But anyway, salute, shout out to all those people I shout out. Um, 
yeah shout out to those youtube channel who else i need to shout out um this is my youtube channel so i'm gonna shout out to people y'all probably never heard of um for this um who it is um yeah shout out to toothless tiger most definitely shout out that lady doing amazing things she ain't about nobody. She tried to help Kwame. Kwame trying to the snake there. And they, she ain't saying nothing bad about the man. Kwame, I call her night lady in the suite. She's sharing, uh, go look at Toothless Tiger, type in Toothless Tiger. She have great content to educate Black people. She's, she's really serious about giving re-education. She has good art and she's she's bringing real people over interviews and she ain't bringing no crackheads and thugs off the street like Kwame Brown doing. Kwame Brown got, um, uh, People who don't got nothing better to do but stay at home and watch TV and eat, and eat ice cream all day long. Because Quan Brown, Romero, he'll sit and he'll sit and run a marathon for six hours and twelve hours talking about nothing but one person, and that made no sense. And all his followers, a few subscribers he has watching them, out of three hundred ninety-one thousand followers, uh, subscription subscribers, he only he barely racking up a thousand uh viewership, I maybe mean, thousand viewership, and a lot of people just tune in just to see what's going on because he he's entertainment nobody really take him serious he's just a clown so he don't have no real support he got very handful of people supporting him and like i said those people who support him got nothing better to do in life if you can sit there and watch a person six hours 12 hours non-stop you don't got nothing you don't got no job or something something wrong with you uh, i can tell you that right now i i, I had to go to sleep at two hours i'm going to sleep <laughs> nobody watch football game <laughs> for two or three hours if they love on the football game you gotta go to sleep on the man Marathon talking about the same thing every day is stupid. Um, let's see who I was going. Uh, okay, let's see. Yes, the radical black conservative. Yes, I'm gonna give a shout out to Miss Irene Event. Y'all never heard of her. She she's not no YouTube drama, she just somebody I want to shout out called Tudor. Her name, her channel is the radical black conservative she talk about uh she only be sitting there just talking about politics all the time like i mean with sound like she talk about real issues relationship issues and things that and they things that people want to talk about she had real discussions real discussion about life and how men and women's relationship is different and how we're going to be you know together and all this stuff. so she, she's very good so anyway thank you for tuning in to andrew love um and um you know Yes, thank you to an Andrew Love channel. And hey, I may do some more interviews coming up soon. I don't know who I'm interviewing, but I will do some interviews and post them up here. And thank y'all. Salute to Chick Gills, new to Michigan TV, new to Sunday Blaze uh, TV, John Goodwin, salute to Dr. Watts, salute to Tazzle TV, um, and salute to Mr. Toothless Tiger. And you know, that's all I can think of right now. But salute, salute, salute for anybody. Miss Salute. Uh, and thank y'all for tuning in. And hey, keep on watching all the series of Persian Kwame Brown called Mr. Skinny going hard and he's doing his thing. And I will put this the link of the Mr. Skinny TV so you can watch all those episodes. And uh, I also put the No Chill Gill link is there in the description as well. So check the description out. And you know, um, uh, I'll put Jenny Blaze's description there. You can check him out too. They have good content and um. Uh, and some and some other people. Uh Rainy, she have good content. Tell me her full name of the channel. Um some of what Rainy, so I don't know her full name or no her name of the channel. But anyway, salute to all the people, salute to all the players, man. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yeah. <laughs> in real life, though. <laughs> I love y'all. Y'all thank y'all. Just tune in and keep watching, man. It's gonna get good, man. I tell you, it's gonna get good. Yeah, I'd be a while for making it. I may, I may move one of my yeah, yeah, yeah. You keep watching the episodes, man. Keep watching Corn Brown crying screen. <laughs> yes, 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 yes.